What's going on everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeO.com and I am back with my showdown breakdown for Sunday Night Football's game between the Saints and the Packers. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when this and all of our other content goes live. And be sure to let me know in the comments section who are your favorite options at captain and in the utility spot. Saints are three-point favorites at home, so we're talking about two relatively equal teams. Average score for this slate, 160.5 fantasy points. The total on this game, 53 points. There's going to be a lot of offense, or at least we expect it. On average, the Saints had 3.4 players in the winning lineup green bay just 2.6 the average winning salary for this in my sims 47,900. i think that you can get a little weird here i'm really excited for this game just because of the two offenses i am going in with the assumption that Devonte adams does not play he is doubtful right now he's going to test it out later tonight but for right now if you're listed as doubtful i have to assume that you are not playing so we're going on with that assumption now it's time for the captains now if we look at the captain spot you can see the concentration at the top right away kamara jones rogers breeze those four guys make up pretty much all of the captain ownership so they are pretty clearly the four best captain options but kamar is already getting that ownership drew Brees is already getting that ownership so my first thought is I want to go to the guy that shows up in the captain spot the second most. That would be Aaron Rodgers. 17.2% of the time he showed up in the optimal lineup as the captain. He's only at 14% ownership in the captain spot. There aren't a lot of places to find much leverage uh, here at captain. So Aaron Rodgers is the first guy I'm looking at. If I'm picking between both quarterbacks right now, I'm taking Rodgers by a hair. However, if I'm trying to get a little bit weird, I'm dropping down pretty far. $8,400 Emmanuel Sanders with no Michael Thomas he should get more targets it did not work out that way in week two but just four percent ownership in the captain spot I believe that you can get enough leverage he should be there twice as often now I do have that same sort of feel for Traquan Smith many multiples over his ownership just too expensive so I'd rather go to the guy in Emmanuel Sanders that shows up in the captain spot 8% of the time. Right now, my top two captains, Aaron Rodgers, Emmanuel Sanders. All right, next up, we have a couple options at the utility spot. Right out of the gate, you can see the top six guys all have very comparable utility options. So you're going to be using Kamara no matter what, but I do think he's going over-owned. Aaron Jones would be the first guy that I would want to go to. 11-4, uh, just a big ownership discount. We have him projected for 10% less ownership than Kamara, so I go to Jones as my payup option. I also really like Traquan Smith. It, it was a weird one at the captain spot just because of how infrequent he shows up in that lineup. But, you know, if you're playing a monster contest, that could be a, an interesting way to get different. 8,200 shows up in the utility 33% of the time only 20.5% ownership. That is a spot that I'm really interested in. I have Traquan Smith projected for 11.2 fantasy points. That's a really nice baseline given his ownership. That One of the best places you can find leverage. If you need a little bit more leverage, go to the guy that shows up in the utility spot the most. Alan Lazard, 6,200, should be a giant benefactor if Devontae Adams is out of this game. Only at 32.5% ownership right now, you would expect that number to climb a bit, but as of right now, it's still 32.5%. I think it should be anywhere up to 44. Lazard is the easiest guy to fit in no matter what sort of style you're playing for. Uh, he's just underpriced for his role for today. Then similarly, if you need to go anywhere else, drop all the way down, 2,800, 30% of the time in the utility spot. That would be Lat Murray. Only 18% ownership as of right now. And this one is just simply, can Lat Murray vulture a touchdown? I've got him projected for 7.4 fantasy points. That's a monstrous performance at 2400 or 2800 excuse me that's the guy that i want to go to if i need to pay down lat murray makes a lot work and i don't really think the game script matters all that much the location of the ball in the red zone is pretty important now it's hard for me to have any major fades but the first one's a big one and you're not going to hear this everywhere no one is out there being like hey fade alvin kamara but that's what i'm doing right now he is the most likely captain. It happens 19% of the time. 
That also means that 81% of the time Alvin Kamara is not the captain. I believe he's going over-owned. Even more importantly, he is projected for 53% ownership in the utility spot. I think he only gets there like 36% of the time. It's simply not worth it to me to pay all the way up to Alvin Kamara. Could that hurt you? Yes. He is dynamic. We all know this. He can put up fantasy points in bunches. But right now, I think he's going over-owned, and I think there are better places to allocate your salary and your ownership in order to give yourself a better chance of taking down a contest. If you're looking for another fade, I don't have a ton that just immediately jump out, so we're just going to say this one. Packers defense does not look great. 8% projected utility ownership. I had them only in the optimal lineup 1.5% of the time. 3600 I just don't love the price tag. There's going to be what I'm expecting, a lot of offense. Don't go to the defenses at all. If you're going to either one of them, go to the Saints, but fully fade the Packers defense. I won't regret this statement, I promise. All righty, guys, that will do it. Those are my showdown plays for tonight's Saints and Packers game. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when it all goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. I will have updates to these simulations as we get closer to lock, as we get a little bit more news, just in case ownership changes, just in case Devontae Adams gets ruled in. I'll post the updates on my Twitter. I'll also pin that in the comments section where you guys should be listing your favorite captains and utility plays. Best of luck on this Sunday night slate. I'll talk to you again tomorrow for Monday Night Football.